hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i last posted a video on this channel i'm deeply sorry for that i've really had a lot on my plate and i barely have time for myself but from now on i promise to be um consistent with my posting and give you back to back tutorial on how to become a better graphics designer so in this quick I don't know if I should call it quick or long video. I'm going to walk you through how to use a popular tool on Pixel Lab. I, I just realized I haven't really talked about it, which is the Bezier tool. I don't know if I got the pronunciation right. But we come on. This is the tool here. Okay. Um, okay, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how it works, what it does, and how you can use it to create stunning shapes or build whatever kind of logo you want to design for your clients. Okay, before that, welcome back to my channel. This is ND Media Designs. My name is David Oropoe. So on my channel, we talk about graphic design how to make money as a graphic designer and how to monetize your skill as a logo designer. So if you are not subscribed, do well to subscribe to my channel. I post content that will be relevant to you and help you earn money with your smartphone by earning skills. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content of this video. So I I already have a detailed tutorial on Pixel Lamp. I'll put a link to that somewhere around this video and in the description section of this particular video. So if you are new to Pixel Lab, I recommend watching that video before coming to this particular video. So for those starting out, <coughs> I'll just start with this tool this icon here this is where you design where you set the canvas you want to work on so for me i want to change the from the image size you can choose the size of the canvas you want to work on so for this large screen i'm just going to use it to thumbnail the reason for this is so that we'll have a lot of room to work with while i design so now we're going to start designing using the bezier tool so to start you click on it and it will pop, pop up this icon so from here if you want to um let's say add another breaking point okay this is like a break point you use to design if you are familiar with tools such as Corel Draw, this is how it works for pixel lab so here um we can um rotate this by clicking here and change the how it looks so if you want to add another breaking point you click on this plus icon here and select where you want to add it and it will take from the previous breaking point up to this one so that's how it works if you want to undo what you did you click on this um if you want to remove this particular one as well you also click on this icon okay so let's say um how this works is you can use it to design any shape you want and i'm going to do that before that i'm going to on this grid system grid system here to help me um get perfect shapes so i turned on the magnet icon as well this is also helpful as it makes your work cleaner okay so from here um if i want to design let's say a square i'll just drag click on this to drag this icon and i'll align it in this particular place then to draw my square i'll just click on this box then you drag to the point you want from there again you drag to the point you want La thirdly you drag again to this third point then as you can see this we have okay this is a rectangle 
So to complete this, you just click on this icon here. This icon will complete the shape you are drawing. So as you can see, we found a rectangle here. You can change the color of this. You can use that gradient. The gradient will form as the color for this. Okay, so that's that for this. Um, if you want to duplicate, you click on this copy icon and it will duplicate your work. Then you can move it around. You can move it how you see fit. Okay. So, but we're not going to do anything with that. This is just to show you how to build these sh basic shapes with the Bezier tool. Okay, so next up, we're going to design a circle. So, to start, I want to have just one. I need to start with a starting point, and I'll just do that from there. Um, let's see, I want to form a square. Okay, this is just a tutorial, so if the shapes are not perfect, it's just because I'm trying to save time. It's just to show you like how the stuff works. Okay, so I want to design a, and to draw a cycle, I'll just click on these breakpoints. Um, I can undo. Yeah. Then to merge all together, you use this two. So now we're going to form this into a cycle. As you can see, this um, would I say these lines are used to align this tool how you want. So let's say we want to form a circle. I'll just drag this up to this point. Okay, this is by no means a circle. Um, yeah. But we can, I don't know, yeah, try to form a cycle from this. Okay, so this is not perfect, but this is just to show you how it works. Similarly, you can change the color for your shape if you want to use. Um, transparent background you click on this um, you can increase the stroke for it or reduce it up to zero and set color without stroke okay so that's that for this um, this is by no means a perfect cycle but um, it's just to show you how the tool works okay let's say we're going to draw a triangle now so similarly, we start from here. We remove this so we have like a starting points, and I'll drag it up to here. Then to draw a rectangle, I'll just drag this from here up to here, also from here up to here. Notice if you want to have a straight line, you drag from the point to your exact location. But if you want like a curvy line, you just tap. On where you want then you can curve you can apply curves to it so as you can see from here we can't do like we, can, we can't apply curves to these straight lines because we specified that they should be straight lines at first so to complete this we just click on this merge icon and it will merge the shape for us like a triangle and similarly, you can change the colors for this as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to design 
um this is in my next video i'm going to show you how to i design a particular logo for a client but in this video i'm going to use the bezier tool to design the um icon i used for the logo so i'll go i'm going to pull it up and show you how it works okay i've already designed it so i'm just going to pull it up here just to show you how it works okay so next up i'm going to reduce the opacity so that i'll have more see what i'm designing then i'll lock the icon so use this um, panel to see all your layers so i'm just going to use this to lock if you want to make it invisible you click on this but here i'm just locking it so that i can work on this background so i'll click on this tool and um, start from here again reduce then I'll increase the I'll zoom in so that I can see what I'm working on. So this video is becoming rather too long. Okay, but all the same, the goal is just for you to understand how this tool works. I never bargained for this video to be this long. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. So the idea is to just um is to just it's like uh, for those of you that have done technical drawing in school or college so this is how this works basically so i'm just going to design this and show you how it works so this tool when selected if you click on a point it would create it will extend the shape from there to the points you selected so next up i'm going to i'm just going to pick the points i need then design them okay so if i want to measure this i'll click this okay so now i'm going to begin forming this shape into something like you are seeing in the background okay okay so i'm just going to fast forward a little bit through here but you see what i am doing Okay, so we're done with these parts and I'll just set the color to black. And let's use this color. Okay, so to start another design, you click on um where is this plus icon? Just click on this plus icon, then you select where you want to start from.
Okay, so for this, I'm going to use um, straight lines to get this particular one because this is like a rectangle. So I'm just going to grab from here to this point, grab from here to here. Um, I undo this. And I'll just merge together like this. Similarly, I'll change the color. This I would use black. Um, so it's just left for me to design these two here. Okay, similarly, I'm going to use um, what they call it, um, straight lines to get these shapes. Okay, I think we're done. Let me um, zoom out a little. Okay, so these are the icons. If you want to switch between and edit, you can use this to this arrow function and it's take you to the previous one. Like that, like that, like that. So that's how it works. So I've been able to design this um, shape using the Bezier tool. So this is like a beginner friendly tutorial for Bezier, using the Bezier tool in Pixel Lab. So to after making your designs, you just click on this good and um, it would design your shape. So this is your new shape. As you can see, it's identical to the original one. In this case, I just added some, variat some variations and made the colors a little bit different okay so this is it so if you want you can hide this and um, use this to design your logo so the main idea over for this is for people that um, sketch the logo they want to design on a paper and pencil before designing it so if you do that you have the liberty of importing that sketch and using the bezier tool to design like to draw what you um, sketch on paper and pencil so that's about it for this tutorial if you need to edit your shape you click on this button and you have access to all um, all the shapes and you can edit them as you see fit okay so this is about it for this tutorial in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to like I'm going to design a full logo using this shape so you might want to subscribe to my channel um, in my channel I post about logo design and how to become a better graphic designer so do well to subscribe if you are not subscribed and turn on the notification bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I drop interesting videos so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye for now